Hey everyone, in this tutorial we'll be making a lottery game. And how can we make a lottery game? Well, we have to use a math.random function so I can randomly generate numbers. And for example, if a user choose 7 as a number and a math.random generator generates like 8, then that person doesn't win anything. But if they do match, then they would win. Alright, well, we're going to ask the user to input a number in between 1 to 20. So, let me demonstrate that to you. And make sure you have the scanner function and the try and catch. Because we don't want users to input like E or something like that. So, just write in try first. If you don't know what try and catch is, then I recommend you to watch the try and catch tutorial that I made. Like try and catch basically uh, making sure the users don't type anything funny. All right, well let's get back to programming. All right, well let's make an, uh, make a scanner object. Scanner KB equals new scanner. That's system dot in. Okay, close with a semicolon. All right, well, um, now let's ask the user the question. Or not this question, statement. Or rule or something like that, I don't know. Enter a number between 1 to 20. Okay. Let's make an int variable. Let's make it ch. Stand for choice. You can name it as anything as you want. And kb dot next line. Or not next line. I meant next int. All right. Well, we got that. Now let's make the math dot random. The fun part. Let's make a new variable, int b equals, oh yeah, make sure, if you haven't watched my advanced math method and you don't know, or you haven't seen it before, I mean, alright, well, I'll teach you a little bit right here on this video. Alright, we have to have parentheses and int, because the math.random function is really meant for double, and if we don't have this right here, then... I'll put an error saying loss of precision because this uh, function is meant for double. But we're not using double, so we use this. Whatever your data type it is, make sure you have that here. And have it as int, too, from here. Alright, well, now let's do a parentheses. Math. Make sure, make sure you capitalize M on math or else it won't work. Math.random. Okay. Like if you don't have math dot uh, or yeah yeah, if you have math dot random but don't have anything else after that, then all the output will be zeros. We don't want zeros, so we'll be doing times twenty, and it will generate. All right, the max number is twenty, so. Let's do any numbers in between 0 and 19. Remember, the computer reads from 0 to 20, or 19, I mean. In order to fix that problem, let's close this off right here. Remember the PEMDAS, fu the PEMDAS function? Multiplies with this and everything. Plus 1. Plus 1, like, whenever you get 0, it will add 1. So... It won't cheat on you or something like that. Hope you know what I mean. It's kind of confusing what, he, what I just said. Alright, well, let's make an if statement. Alright, well, if ch is equal to, or not, yeah, double equals to uh, b, then this output 
yeah, let's output and say that they won. Congrats, you have won. All right, now let's have an else. If the users have won, or didn't win, I mean. All right, yeah, same thing. All right, well, system dot out dot print line. Say sorry. You didn't choose the right number. You didn't have the winning number. And let's make a new line saying the winning number number is space and double quotes. And put the variable B so we let the users know like what was the winning number. And now let's have a period. All right. Well, looks good now. And make sure you have a catch. Remember, we have a try right here. All right. All we do over here is type in catch. Exception. E. Okay. And you just type in invalid input. Like, for example, if you or choose, like, you choose something that's like a letter, but the question or the statement is asking you to type in a number, then it will cause an error and it'll crash your program. But try and catch, that's why we have it. It will prevent that. Okay. All right, we're done with this right here. All right, well now let's run it or compile it first. All right, no errors. Pretty good. Okay. Let's hear the number between 1 to 20. Let's see 3. Win number 6. If I have to space that out. Clear screen. Java C. Make it look better. Okay. Let's do 7. Sorry, you don't have to win the number. Yeah, the winning number is 13. If you keep choosing the same number, it'll make a different number. See? I almost won that one because, look, 6, 7, almost there. So, it takes a little time. Yeah, it takes a little time until you win something. Yeah, it keeps generating different numbers. Well, yeah, this concludes my tutorial over the lottery. Yeah, the math.random and the lottery system. Yeah, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next tutorial. Thank you.